Yeah. Yeah. Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode of the vlogs. Yam and Reg are here. Reg is Fraser's parents dog. Yam is my puppy. But Yam is feeling much, much better after his escapade in the water yesterday or two days ago. Just as we live by the river, just on the other side of this house. It's quite easy for him to get in and he got in because he likes to drink water. And so, I want to play with the stick. Unfortunately, Yam is a bit, doesn't quite know how to run yet, which is a good thing with his joints, etc. But Yam loves to drink water. So, there is a river he likes to drink. First time he tried to get into the water and he really fell in, but now he's feeling better and he's running around with Reg much better and causing havoc back to how a puppy should be. But now we're gonna head back to the club after a little bit of a walk and play with Reg and Yam, fueling up of course, because remember food is fuel and we've reached this wonderful, wonderful Friday for the end of the week. So I've got my Friday shirt on. Oh yeah, and we've got Yam doing a little bit of stocking of Reg for the stick. And we have made it to the car park here at Leander Club. And as you can tell from the title, today is about, since we just finished the 5Ks yesterday, so I went 15.58 for my 5K. And I thought that 5K, or the distance itself, we were talking to some of the guys, is harder than the 2K. So let me know in the comments below what you think of that. We're gonna discuss a little bit more today. Which is the harder distance, the 5k or the 2k? And then coming up next week, we have the actual 2k test. So after that, we'll see what I really, really think, 5k or 2k. But first things first, as always, the water looks like glass. So we're going to get on there, get training for the rest of the day. Oh, Food is fuel, we've got some delicious breaded egg toast once again on this lovely Friday morning with the Friday bowling shirt on. Oh yeah, in the pair with Robson there, learning to row once again in the learn to row pair. Oh yeah. And we're out here post fueling up, rigging the boats, cleaning the boats, making sure all the boats are maintained well. Robson getting the tech on the Tuck in Fridays. Got tuck, in. tuck in Fridays, bowling shirt Fridays, hoodie jacket Fridays. Looking sick Fridays. <laughs> Looking sick Fridays. Oh yeah.
icon to the dock as you can tell for the OG viewers in with the pair partner Adam Neal but now as always after the session it's time to fuel up because remember food is fuel and we've made it back into the crew room after being in the pair with the pair partner Adam Neal to fuel up on some sea bass today as a result of having a vegetarian Wednesday, we get fish Fridays. Today, sea bass. Some good fuel to fuel up on after the session in the pair. But after this, we'll talk about sort of 5k and the 2k and why I think the 5k is a harder distance than the 2k. So let's get to it. And we have made it outside of the club for another day. Lovely day of rowing. The weather has been fantastic, but unfortunately, Winter, winter is coming and it's not, it looks like it's not going to last. But we're fueled up now after the session in the pair with the pair partner Adam Neal and earlier in the Learn to Row pair with Robson as well. Different seats as well, so stroke seat in the first session, bow seat in the second session. Just switching things up and getting used to the different seats and what each seat entails. But we're talking about 5k and 2k and why I believe the 5k is harder than the 2k. So 5k, why is it harder? You're working out for longer. The test is longer and I think that is where most of the difficulties with the 5k arrives. So say you go out really hard in the 2k and you make it to 1k and you're saying to yourself, oh my goodness, I've went through half of the race, half of the piece, I've got no energy left, and I'm blowing my doors off, and I'm just gonna have to try and get to the finish line. But then you only have 1K left. In a 5K, if you blow with 1K in, 4K left, that's still 12, 13, 14, 15 minutes left of just sheer not funness. So that's probably the biggest thing about the 5K. It's just that much longer and it just needs that much more mental fortitude to keep on pushing. Usually in the longer distances, so in America at university, I tested the 6K and I knew I was doing well if I could get to 3.5K, 4K and think this is, this is really hard and I'm either going to have to step on a little bit or I'm going to blow my doors off and just collapse. And that's all mental. It's a choice we make in a longer erg piece where the time left isn't short enough to think, okay, I only have to push for 10 strokes and we're almost there. Like in a, in a 2K, when I see you've went through 1K and you've got into three digits, okay, I can then start counting eight strokes, nine strokes or so, and then you get under, so you get 100 meters each one, and then you get to 500 meters, and oh, it's only 500 meters left. But in the 5k, if you blow up and you've got 2.5k left, it can still be a long way to that finish line. And not just about the time, with the 2k, for me, you can almost power, or the 2k is more power based, and the 5k is more of that aerobic sort of base, and you need that big aerobic capacity to really have a good 5k and that's because it's a bit longer and you have to keep up the pressure keep up that intensity for a longer period of time and personally for me that is more difficult and that is one of my bigger weaknesses is my aerobic base isn't so wide that I can really sort of punish 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 in for a long period of time and a high intensity whereas the 2k you can almost sort of, it's only for me, if my PB is 550, then it can be that aerobic system only really has to be going for 1500 meters or so. And then you can wind up and push through into anaerobic and you're pretty much finished. Finished, And then you've got, again, that little bit of mental. It's like, oh, I've got 200 meters left, but it's only 25 strokes so I can finish it. So I think that is why the 5K is harder. Your legs burn for longer, your, your lungs your burn for longer, you're mentally questioning yourself more or, and definitely for more time in a 5K, you're on that red line for a much longer time. 
So let me know in the comments below what you think of the 5K or the 2K or even another distance that you think is harder than those. I'm not talking intervals because 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 of course we could go out there and go fly out for a minute, take a break, fly out for a minute and just blow up every time. I'm talking about a test distance. So um, whatever distances you do for a test, I know there's uh, 6Ks, 10Ks. We used to do 17Ks at university. And there's 12K tests, um, half marathon, marathon tests. Which one is the hardest in your opinion, Yam Squad? And that will be it for today's episode, Yam Squad. Hopefully you enjoyed it. A good amount of rowing out today in the gorgeous, gorgeous sunshine and blue skies. Fingers crossed for a little bit longer. But who knows with the weather here, it could be snowing tomorrow. And as always, Yam Squad, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video. And you've guessed it, we've made it. Wait, we'll have to